If you're trying to grow your audience, I really want to recommend that you think more about collaborations with other content creators to grow your audience. So I'll just use the example, uh, imaginary example of two people, let's say uh, Jason and Sarah both have an audience and maybe they're just starting out, let's just say Jason and Sarah both have um, maybe, you know, 10 subscribers on their email list or their YouTube channel or whatever, just 10 subscribers. Now, Jason and Sarah, let's say that they, they both talk about something that's related but not competitive. So in other words, Jason talks about topic A, Sarah talks about topic B, and A and B are related, and the audience, both audiences would probably find both topics interesting, but they talk about, they talk about different topics, right? So Jason would introduce Sarah to Jason's audience, right? And Jason's audience was like, wow, this is a really cool gal. Um, she's talking about something that we also enjoy and it makes sense for you to introduce her to us, right? And now Sarah, instead of having 10 subscribers, now has 12 subscribers or 15 subscribers, okay? And let's say that it would also made sense for Sarah to introduce Jason to her audience because the topic is 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 relevant and complementary and the audience would think it made sense for Sarah to introduce Jason then Sarah would introduce Jason and Sarah's audience would also say wow that was great thank you Sarah for introducing Jason to us we really enjoyed his his message and now Jason also has 12 or 15 subscribers instead of 10 and so what just had what's happened now is that both people have grown their audience just by collaborating with each other and both audiences have grown in their knowledge or in their enjoyment by having the benefit of both content creators right so everybody has one now again this is this makes sense only when the topic is the right fit for the audience that, that is being introduced to that topic and that creator. So you gotta make sure that it's the right fit. But when it's the right fit, it's truly amazing. Now, sometimes it's not necessarily a cross promotion. Sometimes it's, you know, Sarah, uh, Jason promotes Sarah to Jason's audience, but it doesn't make sense for Sarah to promote Jason because the topic is not quite the right fit. And But that's okay because, again, uh, everybody still has won, right? If Jason promotes Sarah, right? Jason's audience wins because they get the benefit of Sarah's presence and content. Jason's audience likes Jason more because they see that, oh, Jason is not just talking about his own content, but he also, um, he also brings some of the other great content creators to us. So Jason has now become both a creator as well as a curator for his audience. Isn't that great? And Sarah, um, uh, might go ahead and find a third party, let's say Sarah finds a third party named uh, Kim to promote, right? But then Sarah finds that, oh, Kim makes sense to promote Jason to Kim's audience. So it's, it all kind of goes around. There's kind of a nice karmic loop that tends to happen when um, collaborations are more active. So I really want to encourage you to reach out and um, to content creators that have a similar size audience and a similar type of audience as you, but are not competitive to you in terms of the topics that you talk about. So I hope this is helpful and um, until the next video, I wish you more collaboration and therefore more growth uh, and more uh, a higher level of knowledge for everybody involved.